Hello guys, it's me TTM. In today's video, I'm going to briefly show you all the build information for Destroyer. Also, to understand this video smoothly, please watch the basic guide video for Destroyer first and then watch this video. Then, let's go together. 1. After balance changes. There has been a big change in the focus skills since this balance patch. Previously, when using the focus skills, you can charge up to 2 cores through Lucky Core, which was an RNG-based tripod. However, after the balance patch, the core system has been changed, so that the focus skill guarantees a certain number of cores. So you can charge cores more stably than before. Then, let's talk about focus skill. The focus skill consists of various utility skills. So, it has various functions such as movement, synergy, CC, provocation, tenacity, etc. There are various combinations of focus skills, but today, I would like to introduce only the combinations that I use. Heavy Crush charges only one core, but has a very low cooldown of 5 seconds. And since most focus skills charge two cores, Heavy Crush must be used to reliably complete three cores. And for the rune, I recommend you to use Bleed, Quick Recharge, or Rage, because they are suitable for low cooldown skills. For the tripod, use a quick hit to increase the casting speed of skill. If you have enough skill points, it is also good to use the third tripod, Wide Hit, to expand skill range. Next is the Power Strike. Power Strike is a perfect skill. It can charge two cores and has low cooldown and it has synergy. And it can also counter attack. For the rune, use Galewind. If you don't have enough Galewind, you can use Quick Recharge or Rage. And use Agile Movement for the first tripod and Armor Destruction for the second. Next is the Dreadnought. The Dreadnought is a skill that can effectively respond to enemy attacks using Tenacity and Sturdy Body Tripod and Protection Rune. Also, this is a skill that charge two cores and can counter attack and has low cooldown. And the Indoor Pain is the most unique skill that represents Destroyer and it can charge three cores at a time. And when you use it, you can get tenacity and a 40% incoming damage reduction buff for 5 seconds. Depending on the tripod, you can even increase the buff duration by 10 seconds or reduce the damage you receive up to 90%. Also, this skill has the second tripod which can provoke enemies, so Destroyer can play like a Gunlancer in Raid. In addition, the first tripod Guaranteed Core allows you to charge the core without hitting the skill against the enemy. And I recommend to use focus runes that reduce mana consumption. This is the end of focus skill guide. Then, let's figure out the Furious Hammer build. 3. Furious Hammer build. This is the build that maximizes the damage to the release skill using the class engraving, Furious Hammer. Furious Hammer increases a release skill's critical chance and critical damage by up to 15% and 45% based on the number of cores consumed. And Furious Hammer build rarely use the gravity mode, it because this build only uses engraving and stat related of the release skill. Then, let's look at the release skills. The Furious Hammer build uses three charge type skills as the main DPS skill, and uses one sub DPS skill. Earth Eater uses one 1-1 one, one tripod, and use Overwhelm Rune. The third tripod, the Wrath of Earth, changes the skill type of Earth Eater from normal to charge. It increases the damage to the skill, but also increases the cooldown by 6 seconds. Full Swing uses 3-3-1 Tripod and uses Galen Runes. 
It has the characteristic that it has a very low cooldown using quick rev tripod. Perfect Swing uses 1 to 2 tripod and uses Gale and Runes. It's the most powerful skill of the Furious Hammer build. It can inflict nuclear bomb level damage to the enemy with a single swing. Destroyer uses either Seismic Hammer or Neutralizer as sub-DPS skill, and each has advantages and disadvantages, so you can use them according to your taste. Seismic Hammer has mid-high damage but has a low cooldown using the Quick Wrap Tripod, and it has a weak point level. Neutralizer has high damage, but cooldown is very long and does not have a weak point level. Try both and use what you like. As mentioned before, Furious Hammer build uses the charge skill as the main DPS skill. So this build can maximize the efficiency of the super charge engraving. Please configure the engraving as follows. Usually, the destroyer uses crit and specialization. Crit increases critical hit chance and spec increases damage of release skills. The important point is that the crit is far more necessary than the spec, because the furious hammer only increases critical damage on the release skill. If you fail a critical hit because don't have enough crit, the furious hammer literally become a useless engraving. Therefore, for a Furious Hammer to function very well, you must maintain a crit chance of at least 80%. Take my gear as an example. I have 35% crit chance through Relic, Gear Set and Furious Hammer. To reach 80% crit chance, I need an additional 45% crit chance. So, I invested 1300 points in crit. Like this example, you can configure the accessories according to your situation. This concludes the Furious Hammer build. Then, let's learn about the Gravity Training build. 4. Gravity Training Build Gravity Training Build is a build that maximizes the damage of gravity mode. Gravity Training is an engraving that allows the gravity gauge to recover 2% per second without core consumption. And it increases the destroyer's damage by 20% and crit chance by 30% when using gravity mode. Since this build uses gravity mode as the main DPS skill, the key point is to quickly charge the gravity gauge and use the gravity mode as often as possible. As I said, gravity training builds require fast charging of the gravity gauge. To do that, we need to charge the core quickly, and consume it frequently. So, to speed up the circulation of the core, we have to use release skill that has a low cooldown, and a fast casting speed. Therefore, charge type skills with slow casting speed is difficult to use.
Anyway, you can use release skills like this. The perfect swing uses 1 to 1 tripods, and use Gelwind or Overwearum. The third tripod, Hour of Slaughter, changes the skill type of perfect swing from charge to normal. Full swing uses 331 tripod, and uses Gale Wind. It has the lowest cooldown by using Quick Prep tripod. Neutralizer uses 332 tripod and uses Gale Wind. This is the most powerful release skill in the gravity training build. Seismic Hammer uses 131 Tripod and uses Overwhelm or Gale Wind. It is one of the release skills with a low cooldown using a quick prep tripod like Full Swing. Gravity training build uses engraving like this. Unlike Furious Hammer build where critical was important, specialization is much more important in gravity training build. This is because specialization increases the damage of gravity mode, and it allows the destroyer to fill the gravity gauge faster. So, make up your stat like this. I'm so hyped that my main class Destroyer will be released on a global server soon. Destroyer is my first character. And he is a valuable class that I'm playing until now since the Lost Ark released. I can finally enjoy this class with you. Anyway, I will continue to share detailed and surprising information about Destroyer on this channel. So if you are interested, please keep visiting my channel. Then, see you next video. Bye.